hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are doing a real life floor plan and this house is pretty nice it has a garage which we don't really need in the sims but it's three bedrooms it's two bathrooms and i think it would be perfect they even have a laundry room so that's nice i think we shall get started let me just move the picture up here so actually this is what the floor plan looks like just so you can get a hint i don't want to leave it up here because it's going to be too small for you to look at i think i think i want to leave the house on screen but just know that I'm following a floor plan. But they have a nice little porch area. Actually, I think I might already scoot the lot over. Because they have their garage pretty much in the front. And annoyingly, the lot doesn't line up with this. I hate that. But I'm going to try my best to ignore it. They also have a boring back. But I guess that's kind of realistic to most houses. So the bedrooms are pretty much on this side of the house. They have like this nice shared bathroom. And then they also have closets. But I'm not going to give them a closet, I don't think. And then it's basically like this. Just a boxy house. So this is like the laundry room. And then this is the ensuite to the main bedroom and now we just have to roof this which i don't think it's going to be that hard and usually when i get stuck on builds this is what i usually do i look at floor plans or i mainly look at the exterior of other homes and try to make that without looking at the floor plan and they do have like this hip to roof which i'm not gonna lie i'm not really a fan of i just don't think it fits the vibe of this house i don't like it I i'm so sorry i this is one thing that i'm gonna change about the original house i'm gonna use this gabled roof instead okay so we have our house one thing that i like to do is grab these columns from get together because they are lovely to put at the corner of your builds and then for the parents bedroom i was thinking that i would just give them like a small little balcony and this is like how far it can go so i think that would be nice for them they also don't have a chimney in the picture but we can always add one if we want to. Or we could add one in the front. Like, what would that look like? I don't know. Do you like that? I kind of like it. So I'm just going to put brick everywhere right now. And then I'm going to get them their brick staircase. And now I'm just grabbing the same fence that I got for the balcony. So yeah, this house is coming together. I think I will pick a roof pattern now. I'm going to go with this one. I feel like I use this one a lot. I love that this home is actually just one story. I think that's pretty nice. So they have these vertical slats on the roof. And then they have like the horizontal slats and horse ranch is going to be pretty good with this to be honest and then they have this one that has a trim it's either we go with this one or we go with this one from cats and dogs but they're smaller in size i don't know if anyone is bothered by that so now it's time for me to make the garage so i'm just gonna put these columns right here and then i'm gonna want like a white paneling so i may use this from growing together i think this is nice what i want to do is bring all the walls down and then place this room right here and then this allows me to place like a floor trim so i usually use these which is good and then i guess this garage could either be maybe like a little workspace or a hobbies room so it seems they have a brick pavement that kind of like curves in with the garage but i'm gonna ignore that this upsets me so much you guys have no idea and then i'm gonna put some landscaping out in the front Ooh, there's these pretty orange and yellow flowers that we could use i think that looks pretty good or does it i don't know i don't think i like that okay yeah i think that's pretty nice we could maybe get a bush right here as well and then part of me is thinking like what if we do terrain paint actually i think that would be nice actually oh they have windows right here in this bedroom but we're gonna have to like place them on either side of the chimney i think i might go with these windows i do like them i'm just gonna filter to base game real quick and then like get the window situation figured out and then i think we'll get started on the inside just a little bit i want to put some lights and then my next step of business is to like get some doors so first i'm gonna go in with this archway just to get to the hallway so i think i'll use this door to like get to the garage so change of plans a little bit i'm gonna make this smaller and then i'm gonna turn this little area into a hallway because there is a hallway to get to like the parents bedroom and then for the doors i think i will use high school years and then for the flooring inside i think we'll go with like a light wood like i don't really use this floor so i wonder if i can make this work and i guess we can get started okay so this is a kind of weird shape considering the fact that in the floor plan we have this big great room we can get smaller arches i don't know what i was thinking getting those big arches we could do a change of plans so we can make this the kitchen and then over 
over here can be the big living room and dining room. I think that would actually work. I always use these counters from Parenthood. I think they're just so nice. So obviously this is a very small kitchen space. So I'm thinking that we have the stove right here. I think that would be nice. And then over here we can just have like the sink. I don't know what we could possibly do. This is just like a very small spot. And even out placing the fridge is not going to help us. So I can try to find smaller arches. I think this is like the smallest one that we can get. Okay, that's going to work. Okay, that's good. I am going to get some placement furniture at the moment just so we can think some things out. So we'll have like a dining table right here. I'm thinking that it's going to be like a four seater maybe. Maybe. I don't usually do my tables like this. So that's kind of like the dining situation that I am thinking of. And then I think the TV can be on this back wall. So maybe we'll have like a pretty big cabinet and then maybe a nice couch in some chairs and then yeah i think this would work actually very well so let's decorate for real now so i'm just gonna grab some cabinets and then i'm gonna put this wall right here because i don't know it just gives it some separation and actually parenthood comes in with this built-in refrigerator so we may be able to use that only thing is the counters the cabinets clip with the fridge which is weird i don't know why that happens but with the nine key we can just like raise it up and then i think i'll just get like this small trash can in the front so that way it's just like very easy to like take out and then we only have one counter of clutter because i think this one needs to be open to cook and i think that's pretty good for the kitchen area i will grab some blinds so i just grabbed this blind from cottage living and now we can actually pick out a nice seating area so since we're using parenthood maybe we can also go with the matching table and i do think we need to bring some color in here as well so maybe we can go with like a nice colorful rug or something i do like this rug from growing together i think it's very nice we can like check the colors out and see if we can use it like we can go for this watch honestly and i'm gonna grab a light to go over the table honestly i think i need to go in and replace my lights because i always use like the saucy saucer lights and i just never replace them to be honest with you don't know if i like those lights from parenthood so we might just get this light over the table to be honest okay so i just went in and replaced all the lights now let's get started with the living room i will tell you how this house is realistic because like the windows in the front look good but the winds on the side and the back on this side looks terrible part of me is like hmm what if we gave them a little attic i just love the addition of that honestly i'm i'm glad we decided to do that okay sometimes you just need to add your own touch to these builds i think maybe i'll take a break on the living room and then maybe i can move into the laundry room so for the laundry room, we just need a washer, a dryer, and some hampers. Normally, you wouldn't put your hampers in the laundry room because that means you would have to just bring your clothes all the way here and it's like, why would I do that? But in The Sims, it's just so useful to have them in the laundry room. So I'm going to change the color of them. Maybe this is for the parents and then these are for like the kids. And then maybe the washers can just be beige. So I just put this laundry basket like they were folding clothes. I think that's nice. And then maybe I'll put like a broom in here as well. And then Parenthood has this family bulletin board that I'm going to put in here. I like to think that it's a chore board. So maybe like, oh, on Tuesday you have to wash dishes and then whatnot or whatever. And yeah, that is the laundry room complete. Ignoring the living room, I am going to start in one of the children's rooms room and one thing that i think is also from parenthood yes this is from parenthood i am inspired to use this as inspiration to decorate this room like look at this watch i never used this before so i kind of want to use it okay so i don't know what i'm doing i don't know this is not bringing me as much inspiration as i thought but there's other swatches like i don't really use this ever so i could use like one of the other swatches and i'm thinking either the one with the llama or this one i think i want to go with the one with the llama the wallpaper is definitely gonna change but first i'm gonna find a rug and i think i can make this one work from high school years i'm just gonna like size it up and then like put them together but maybe we can try to go with that and maybe put like this beige color everywhere else like is that okay i know it's like beige but i think it's fine and i think we can actually work with this I'm like not too worried about finding a bed that matches. Like, ooh, there's this nice yellow bed from Dream Home Decorator. I think that's cute. And then for a little desk, maybe we can put one over here. Maybe I'll put the desk over here and then like put a wardrobe over here since 
it is a little tight and then for the skateboards i could probably size them down now they don't need to stay that big i'm gonna give them a nice little cork board and then i'm gonna give them a laptop because that's always useful oh what if this teenager is messy like they just have a bunch of dirty mugs and the parents are like what is happening to all the mugs like we always have to buy some when we go out and they're just in here but they're gonna need some curtains maybe we can go with some regular blinds like snowy escape comes with these nice blinds like that's just so realistic so i think i'm gonna go with it and then for their dresser i most likely will use this one because i always use this so what if this teenager is an artist i say that because there's canvases right here but my thought is maybe they found this nice mirror at the flea market and they want to use it in their new home but obviously they haven't moved out yet i think that's perfect i love that story and then since they're an artist i think it'll be nice to give them like a sketch pad and an easel and then i might get a bunch of posters on this wall Ooh, what if they had this since they were a child like they drew these and they just thought to keep it since it was like so cute to them and yeah we're done with this bedroom now we can move on to this bedroom i don't know who lives here but maybe we can pick out a wallpaper first I know this is crazy, but I just never used it before, so I want to use it this once. I don't exactly know where to place the beds. Okay, what if we did go with bump beds, though? Because this could work, and it just gives them more space for stuff. So over here, I think we could either add, like, a dresser or a desk. I think I will add this wardrobe and then I will add a blarfy. Ooh, I actually like this sheep rug a lot, but maybe we can go more plain with this rug. It would be very nice if they had their own desk, to be honest, but I don't usually do that. And then I'm gonna get this nice little chalkboard. I think I need to get like some toys. Yeah, they have some toys over here. So we could get an activity table, maybe like place it in the middle of the room <laughs> because like there's so much space. So I think I'll keep the scouting board right here and then i think i will give this child a little nightstand they're very lucky to have one and then maybe i can give the other one a shelf i think that's pretty cute and i think i will be done with this kid's room but let's work on this hallway just a little bit i did see this little hobbies board from parenthood and i think it's nice and i just want to add it in here and i think that's pretty much all i'll add because it's just like a very small space um maybe i can work on this bathroom for the kids I think I want to use counters instead of like regular sinks I guess or standing sinks and then we'll need like a simple mirror right here and I'm gonna get a light above it because that's usually how it is okay so here's the complete bathroom for the kids so we just have like some clutter and a towel the light is literally in the way but then I put a painting so yeah this is pretty much this section now we need to move on to the parents room and I already did the bathroom for them but maybe I can start out with the porch area like I think I want to give them like a chess table that is very useful for your gameplay I feel like most of the careers well okay maybe not most I haven't played all of the careers but I feel like a lot of the careers need the logic skill I know the doctor one needs it I know the business one needs it I believe the astronaut needs it like there's so many so it's very useful to have it the scientist also needs it I can't forget about that but yeah just a lot of careers needs it so oh maybe they can get some gardening pots that's a good way to make money like yeah so they have have this what else could they put out here oh a telescope would be nice there's one way to die on this lot so far kind of want to use the parenthood rug again it's like the same pattern out there though maybe we can just go with this gray leaf rug i don't know it would be nice to give them a feature wall i will say oh what if they had like a painted brick i just oh i like that maybe we can give them this picture of the mountains because like maybe they want to visit mount kamarebi one day oh we don't really have a fireplace anywhere i might give them the fireplace from parenthood i'm using a lot of parenthood but i know this is not a limited pack build so i'm very sorry if i don't know i may or may not be doing a limited pack build soon i might have to change some things around in my schedule i think i will give them some chairs in front of this rug and then maybe i can get like a light what if we did like a built-in bookshelf with the fireplace i think that could be nice i don't think i want to get like the empty shelves because i don't think i want to clutter it that much and then maybe they have a tv in their bedroom because i have one in my bedroom and it's just nice you want to lay down and watch tv sometimes you know so at the moment they don't have a dresser but i think that's fine 
I guess the closet would have been nice. I mean, we may be able to fit like a wardrobe. And I think this bedroom is complete. Now we need to move on to the garage and this part. <sighs> Can't even think about it. But I'm gonna put some rocking chairs out here on the porch. And then we can get like a little table out here. But I think I'm done with the porch. I just added a little wind chime. And we also could get some landscaping out here as well. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of like not wanting to do the living room or the garage. I think that's cute. Let's get some trees. Anyways, I have some trees back there. I think we're done with the outside. No, we're not. We need a trash can and we need a mailbox. And then for the porch, I'm going to get that little welcome mat. Always a nice touch to add that. And then... I think this is a good wall to add photo collages. I can't believe I'm just now adding these. I think they should still able to get through there. And then I can put like some books, some phone and keys. I think this is good for the entrance. I do like it better. Moving on to the living room. Let's try to find a rug first. I could go with either the cats and dogs rug or the parenthood rug. I want to try parenthood first. I think this is a pretty nice rug. I think actually I want to use the one from cats and dogs. And I think I want it to be this swatch. I think I'm gonna use this couch from Cottage Living. I love the way that looks. I mean this is the matching chair but they don't have like a matching cream swatch. Maybe we can go with these chairs from Growing Together. I wonder if we can use the couch from Growing Together as well. I mean we could. I think this couch looks good with the rug and then we'll just need like a coffee table. I think that is good and then I'll just need to get a TV and a little cabinet table. I just put a music player and a diary on the coffee table and then maybe Maybe next to the TV we can get like a gaming console. These people have a lot of money. Maybe they have like the PS5. And I think that's pretty nice. I do want to decorate this console table a little bit so it's just not empty. I'll just get this right here. Okay, so I think that is good. Like if I put it into the wall a little bit, do you think they still can get by there? I guess I can test it out. Maybe this will work. I feel like this would be more likely to work. And then what if I just put like three of these here? What if they're from Strangerville and they're putting on an act? I think this house is complete. Oh my gosh. I think I'm done. I think I am done. I am done. I'm going to get like a little chimney to put on the roof though. And lately I've been sticking like the attic box in the attic if I have one. So if you're watching this, this is where the attic box is. And I also need to paint the roof. I'm trying to remember to do that as well. But I guess I can give you guys a little tour. I think we're done. But out in the front you just have your garbage can with your nice little mailbox. You have this cute landscaping and I did forget something yeah I forgot to do praying paint and so once you get on the porch you just have a nice seating area and then once you walk in you have this nice entrance way with your very small kitchen for a big family which probably sucks but you have this dining area and then you have this nice little living room over here this is how you get to the garage and the laundry room so you have three hampers you have your family bulletin board so you can set a curfew and then through here you just have your car and your woodworking table over here is the parents bedroom it's pretty nice and luxurious i guess because they have a lot of books they have a fireplace and a tv and they have their own private balcony so they have a chess table and a telescope and then this is their ensuite bathroom if we go through the other hallway it's just a plant and a hobby board but this is the kids bedroom so two kids can sleep here they have a lot of activities like the scouting board books creativity table their own desk toys and they can collect marbles which i think is nice and then this is the shared bathroom amongst the kids and then through here you have the teenager who is maybe moving out soon and yeah they're an artist they have their own laptop pretty nice and then up here you just have your attic box so that is the end of the video i'm gonna upload this to the gallery so i just called it the three bedroom home so it has three bedrooms two bathrooms okay so i uploaded it to the gallery it's 78 thousand some millions which is a lot and i used a lot of packs so i'm very sorry about that but yeah i am happy to leave this video off here if you like this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys next time bye